everyone, my name is Shanae and I'm one of the respiratory supervisors. Today what we're going to be discussing is a new method for securing the ET tubes for the NICU patients. We're going to be calling this the candy cane method. So before we talk about the method, first we're going to talk about all the materials that will be necessary for the actual candy caning. So of course we're going to need our standard Neobar that comes in one of these boxes and you will grab the appropriate size, you will measure and then grab the right size for yourself. In addition to the actual Neobar, you're going to need, of course, your 3M tape, like so. Make sure you get the one that is about one centimeter in width, not the longer one, the thicker one, rather. And of course, you're going to cut it appropriately so you have enough length to go around the Neobar and up the ET tube for the candy cane. You will need your Cavalon, that's standard for applying the Neobar and adhesive tape if you're planning on removing your Neobar and replacing a new one. After you assemble your materials, you're going to make sure you have the appropriate members of your team to secure the ET tube and someone who is able to actually tape the tube. So one person is going to have the role of holding the ET tube. Right now it's going to be an RT and I'm going to have the job of securing the ET tube. So first, I'm going to protect the skin using the Cavalon. I will apply a thin layer to each cheek. As so. And then as so on this side. While that is drying, I will grab my Neobar that once again, we measured already with our measuring tape so we know it's the right size. And I'm going to take off one of the pads as so. Line up the Neobar midline and apply right before the air canal. This is the same protocol that we currently use, but for demonstration purposes, we will show it. I will take off the pad on this side once I know it's midline and apply it once again to the other side. The new bar should be as midline as possible and not pressing down on the upper lip and not too far below. Next, I'm going to take one of my pre-cut pieces of tape from the 3M tape. I'm gonna use this one because it's a little bit longer. I'm going to take off the backing of the tape as so. I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to go around the Neo bar once as so. Then we're going to go around the ET tube. Before we go around the ET tube, it's very important to make sure that your numbers on your ET tube is facing towards the bottom of the patient's mouth, just so once the tube is secure, we have reference points. So the person holding is going to help as I rotate, which we have done. So now we are able to visualize the ET tube numbers from this view. Okay, so once we know we're in a good spot, we're all in the currents that the ET tube is where we have all decided and agreed upon during our huddle, we're going to wrap around the ET tube. So I'm going to remove the rest of the backing and I will press the, the ET tube onto the needle bar and we will go around once, as so. It's really important to communicate with your partner and to really see, understand what each other how everyone's feeling during this process to make sure some, the tube is not slipping and everyone's comfortable. Once you go around once, you're going to stop and visualize the ET tube to make sure that it's in a good placement. Then, instead of going around the ET tube as we normally do in the same exact position over and over again, we're going to take the opportunity to take the tape and go up gradually. We're gonna gradually go up in a candy cane formation, hence the name candy cane. 
And instead of stopping here like we normally will, we will go all the way up and around. This will ensure that we have increased the surface area between the ET tube and the neo bar, which will then stop the pistoning or the movement of up and down for the ET tube. So we're gonna make sure that we go up gradually and around the ET tube and the neo bar. This point is where we normally would stop. However, we're trying to make sure with the candy cane that we're, we're preventing the ET tube from pistoning or moving up and down like it normally does, which, uh, which causes us to have to retape the patient frequently and to keep the spot more stable. So we're gonna go all the way around. When you're in your last bit of tape, you will tab it so it's easy to remove and we will wrap around. Please note that we did not go all the way up the ET tube because we still want to have a reference point. So if we need to measure the, the ET tube for some reason. But you always would measure it from the gun. All right guys, so if you made it to this point, congratulations. That is the end of the candy caning video. This is another style of securing the ET tube that we are trialing to see if we can prevent the amount of times they retape tubes due to the tube just simply moving around with the neobar. This is what it looks like. Once again, note that the tape is above the little piece here that is the end of the neobar tab.